and this is the Car Crush. And today, we're gonna to be driving my 997.1 GT3 RS. And I'm also gonna be driving it. <laughs> yeah, welcome to, uh, to today's episode of Car Crush. Uh, we're driving my 997.1 GT3 RS, which is, um, basically was my dream car. I bought it. I can tell I already used this kid. It's so insane. <laughs> that's what it feels like to drive it. <laughs> so the problem with this car yeah. is that it is, is, car, is, feel, is other cars? <laughs> other than is other cars. It inspires a confidence in my driving ability that I absolutely do not deserve. When you're in the canyons, it's literally hard to drive this car slow. Right. Obviously, any Porsche wants to live high end, and that's where this car wants to live. Right. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't feel good when you're going slow in the car. Like, the car just asks you to go fast. It grips the road like nothing I've ever driven. Electronic nannies and give you a little bit more of a go around. No. This has stability control and traction control. It has traction. 
traction, yeah. Okay, yeah. Which is, but it literally has one button that says TC off. Got it. Got and it. traction control comes off, and it has a stiffer, yeah, damper. stiffer dampering for oh, we're suspension. Not even, we're not even in stiff mode. I'm not even in stiff mode yet. There. Now we are. Wow. Yeah. You feel that. You do feel it. Yeah, you do feel that. Um, yeah, but that's it. So, like, there's no electronic steering. So, like, in nine, the 997. Dot two, the next year, the 2008 of this yeah. car, that's where sort of all of the electronic like give me, give me's came in. Yeah, so this obviously it's the hydraulic steering. Yep. And so the point two about the electric steering? Yep. With that said, like I wanted the analog car. Like, it, like, for me, if I was going to get an RS, which is the race car version of an already, of a GT3 race, which is a, basically a race car, right. you know, to most people, I wanted it to be the most analog it could be. Right, I got it. You know, yeah. I sort of like yearn for that analog yeah. feel that we used to have in all of these cars where like you actually were a little scared when you were driving in, you know? Yeah. All these cars now just sort of drive themselves. Like, I'm not a good enough driver in this car mm -hmm. where if I start to lose it in this car, then you'll be able to correct it? I'm not a good enough driver to be able to correct it. Listen, I don't I, 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 thank God I haven't had to figure we're, out if I am either. I don't know if I am. We're not going to find out today. I think it's time for you to drive. Are you going to let me drive it? Amazing. Um, we're not going to crash. <laughs> yeah, there's that clutch you're talking about. So the clutch is serious. I mean, it's a race clutch. You know what's great about this clutch is like... You really notice the difference between a race clutch and a normal clutch when you're in the canyons like this and when you're going fast. Okay. It, how so? I mean, you'll see. It just, just the engagement points, how quick it is, um, you know, that like, the heaviness of it when you're moving slowly is what feels so amazing when you're at high speeds. I love the uh, the view out the rear of the, of the, of the orange cage. Just a giant cage with little to no view whatsoever.
felt really safe in that car. Like you'd have to do something really stupid, right? To uh, to do something wrong in that in that mid engine car. Yeah. Whereas in this car, you're like, you know, stupid probably happens really easy in this car. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Wow. Delightful.